Okay. Um, this one's actually really a great. Uh, well, they're all great, but this is a, a really pow powerful operator that we have. Um, and we're coming in towards the end. I, I know we're going a little long here. Uh, so this is with latest from. Uh, with latest from is going to include the latest value from another observable. Uh, once both have emitted, only when the source emits. Let me say that again, and actually, that's going to make more sense. I know we actually we tried to get this sentence as short as we could because it's like, yeah. Uh, so it includes the latest value from another. Actually, that should be called, yeah, from other from other observable. Once both source and other, so two observables have emitted, only when the source emits a value. This will make sense a little bit more, hopefully, when we look at the example and the marble diagram. Um, this provides both values. This is what's really nice about it, right? So we get both values from the source and the observable uh, as an array into the next operator or into our subscription or into our subscribe, right? And so this is a really great way for us to join streams of data, right? And so if you're using RxJS and especially if you're using like NGRX, you might be like, well, I've got like two or three observables and I want them to all kind of come together. And we'll look at fork join, which is also another operator, which is similar to with latest from. Um, but basically, uh, this is a really great way for us to uh, bring those streams of data together. Uh, so you can see in kind of this uh, little code snippet down at the bottom, I'm subscribing, um, and I get the original uh, value and also the latest value from two observables. And it comes in as an array. And we can use an ES6, we can use array destructuring to get a ridge and latest as variables in our function. This is a bit complicated. Let me walk you through it. Um, so we've got two observable streams of data. We've got observable stream, observable stream. We're going to pipe it to with latest from, and there's our output observable stream, right? So this one hits A. We don't get anything, right? Only one has emitted a value, right? And we're doing, we want both, right? And then our second one emits one, but we don't get A1 because we're only concerned when both have emitted a value and the source emits a value, right? So now that they've both emitted a value, that's true, and then now when the source emits a value, I get B1, right? Two and three come along, but we're not concerned because remember, it's all about the source observable. Now, source fires C, or emits C, if you will, and now I should get C plus the latest from that stream, and now I get C4. Yeah, so I get with you're, you're, latest. You're cleaning noise, basically. Or you sync it could be. Yeah, it's you're like mean. syncing. It's it's combining streams of data. Um, and I'll, we'll show you an example. I got an example of code. Um, and then D comes in, and this is the source observable, last, with latest. So this value, with the latest from this value, gives me that value. Completion notification comes in. Doesn't matter, this one comes in here, and then I still get E and the latest value. So it's all about the source string, and then give me the width, the latest. So give me this along with the latest from that as a result of the observable. It's a little challenging, trust me, but, and I, I read some of these diagrams you know, a while ago, and I was just like, okay, that really helps, great, thanks. Um, but hopefully this will make sense. Let me show you an example in our app. So we're going to containers, power. I think we're already in this line. Yeah. OK. So in this example, um, you can see up top is in our class, we've got a heroes property, which is an observable of an array of hero objects. I've also got a power, which is an observable of power. I'm going to get my power here, right? So I'm going to use the param map. This was one of the examples we saw before with the switch map. So this that power is now an observable. Uh, that's going to emit power based on getting it from my API, based on the ID value in the, param in the uh, activated route parameter map. And then now I'm going to say with this that power, this is my source on that um, RX mar on the marble diagram. That's the top line, right? So when this emits a value. We also, we want to get also, when this emits, give me the latest from the array, and this is going to give me an array of heroes. So this is an observable of an array of heroes. And now I can use array destructuring notation in ES6. I will get the first source that's emitted, which is the power object. 
and I'll also get the heroes object. And then here, this isn't part of necessarily this demonstration, but basically filtering on those heroes to on those heroes to give me the heroes associated with the selected power. Makes sense. Maybe it would also help just to kind of show you in the actual app. So if I'm on a hero, those are the powers that I want to display for that hero. And so that's what's going on. That's what's, this is the UI side of that. I know it's a little confusing. Go home and challenge yourself. Um, that, it's really powerful. Uh, so it allows you to combine streams of data. So I'm combining two streams of data, and then I'm uh, mapping out to get that array of hero objects. Questions? I tried to explain it as best I could. It's, uh, it's a little tricky. Yeah, let's take a look at that marble diagram. Yeah. So we're all we're concerned about this is the source, right? This is what we're concerned about, and then I'm doing with latest on a second observable stream, and I'm saying only give me a value when both have emitted a value and when this one emits a value. So when this emits A, the second stream has not emitted a value, so I don't have anything yet. Hold on. And then when this one comes along, they've now both emitted a value, and now I get B1. So I always get this value along with whatever is the latest in that stream that I'm combining. Then it doesn't care about two, three, and four, because it has the same. Because, well, if there was like, say there was like something here, then it would get that, and then whatever the latest is there. Right, but it's not. But it's not. So those just get discarded. C comes along, and then give me the latest, so then I get C4. D comes along, nothing else was admitted, get the latest, D4. You had a question, man? Actually, I just wanted to clarify the when you're saying that when they have admitted, emitted, <clears throat> you're meaning to say that they have a latest value. They have emitted once, at least. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'm sorry. What I'm saying, as long as both of them have emitted, I'm basically saying as long as both of those observables have a notification that has been sent to the observers. If they don't, then you don't have a value put in the array. Yeah. Correct. So this is really great when you want to combine streams of data, like you saw in my example. Hopefully that was kind of clear. Well, hold on one sec, John. I got a question in the back. If you had to translate your example to this diagram, how would that kind of play out? So your power is the second one, right? Like the power. Yeah. Your hero is the top one. No, no. The power, the power, right around the top one. Yeah, power is the top one. Let's try to do it. Let's see. Uh, so, so power we, we is my we source. We, we can just use the marble testing thing that green belt helped have. You do that. You want me, you want me, you want me to do that just on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Come on up, John! Uh, this that power is my source observable, so that's the top line. So when this emits a value and this emits a value, I get both of them into here. You want me to, the, the only point I was going to make was... You want me to do... I'm not going to do a diagram. Okay, if you want to go back to the diagram, I wanted to explain why I don't get an A. Um, you notice that A at the beginning. Testing thing? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that next. Yeah, we're going to hopefully get into some Jasmine marbles. Do some testing with marble diagrams. Right now? No. Well, I mean... <laughs> I've got 75 <laughs> operators to get through, Ed. I mean... <laughs> I'm doing my best, Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, John. So why don't we get A? Just ti timing is important here. Um, the with latest from and the pair of the source observable with latest only occurs when the source observable emits. So if the source observable emits and there's nothing to pair it with, you don't you, get anything. There's else. nothing because you don't have any, no latest, yeah. no emitted value, no latest notification to grab. And you could emit a whole bunch of things from your source. And if you still haven't gotten anything, you still haven't one, gotten, you don't get any of those. Yeah, there was, I mean, if these were all, push these marbles down here, right. and we do A and then B and C, it's not until one, let's say hypothetically over here, but then I would get, let's say D or whatever, I would get D1, and then right. that would come through. And that is a semantic that is very important to understand if you're helping decide whether to use this operator or one of the two other operators. That are yeah, similar, but like combined latest. Slightly semantically different, like combined latest. So combined latest is kind of the cousin to this, where like I don't really care about the order of them, but just combine them and give me the 
the latest notifications from Bring it, man. What do we got? It seems like this makes a bug. <laughs> it's a base. It's your your timing dependent. Well, I mean, for your use case, you're saying okay. The top one is your power. Whenever you get new power, your your second one is is your list of. Power. Yeah. So this doesn't emit until. Yeah, but I'm not gonna actually hit the. Will I hit the with latest from until this emits? Well, my my indication of it and. A bug is that you're not going to filter your list you when your hero changes. If you have additional heroes that get emitted, then you're not going to be able. To, you're not going to filter that list. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So if I had additional heroes, in this instance of the app, though, I'm just displaying the heroes that are associated with a selected power. So the heroes wouldn't change. I mean, I guess they could change. If you, if you, in your application, if you allowed that on the same screen. Then you'd want to use like combined latest, not with latest from, right? So I mean, kind of back to my, I mean, totally correct me if I'm wrong here. You only need certain powers. So like in this app, in this example, I'm looking. Well, this is the wrong. It's actually sorry. This is under powers. Yeah. Use cases or yeah. scenarios. So, and so in this case, I've got a power, X-ray vision, and I'm getting the heroes for that power. So I mean, you can't really add in my UI. I can't really add a hero at this time while displaying these. But I, I get what you're saying. If I could, then that would cause a timing issue. So it's important to know. And I think, I think the solution in that in instance would be combined latest. Thank you for repeating it. <laughs> <laughs> cool.